Let's start with filling of the oil tank with hydraulic oil. Fill G35H tank with approximately 63 liters of hydraulic oil. We recommend to fill the oil up to the level of around 80 degrees Celsius of the manometer. Lubrication cup should be filled with 1 liter of DOP or mesamol. Electrical cable parameters, 3 lives plus earth, no neutral wire, 6 square millimeters cross section, from 1 to 25 meters length, 32A plug. Electrical network should correspond to the following parameters, 38.4 amperes, 3 phases at 400 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. Turn the main switch on. Press the button control power. Press the button motor. Check the motor fan rotation. If the fan is rotating anti-clockwise, swap any two phases. Turn the main switch on, press the button control power, press the button motor, check the motor fan rotation again. If the fan is rotating clockwise, it's ok. Before installation, check how many hoses you are going to install. Open the transformer and find the black cable connected to one of the terminals, 40 volts or 75 volts. If you are going to install 1, 2 or 3 sections of 15 meter hoses, then choose a slot of 40 volts. If you go for 5 or 6 sections, then connect the black cable to a slot of 75 volts. Once the black cable has been fixed, carefully close the transformer. Connect the first 15 meter section of heated hoses to the machine. Do not over tighten these connections to the machine. Connect the TSU wire to the machine and fix it with tape as shown. Make electrical connections of the heated hoses to the transformer. Make sure to plug the connectors well.
repeat the connections between the hoses as many times as many 50 meter hose sections you have. The maximum length of six hoses is 90 meters. Insert the TSU probe into the last 15 meter hose section and tighten it firmly. Connect the extender on polyl hose and tighten it firmly. Connect the section of 3 meter whip hose and tighten it firmly. Make electrical connections between the heated hoses. Always connect red wires with red ones and blue wires with blue ones. Connect the TSU wire to the corresponding connector. Connect air hoses and tighten them firmly. Fix TSU wire with the tape in a compressed position as shown. Protect the TSU area with flexible covers. Fix it as shown and wrap it with protective fabric. Cut this cuff jacket in the area of TSU, overlaps cuff jackets in the areas of hose connections and secure them with a tape. Take the box with a gun and disconnect the coupling block. Connect the coupling block to the free ends of 3 meter whip hose and tighten it firmly. No mistake can be done as the threads have different size. Activate the automatic switch of the transformer. Make sure the inlet valves are closed or close them. Take out transfer pumps and insert them into the drums with the products. Take the swivels included in any standard shipment and install them using Teflon tape as shown.
Connect both polio and ISO product hoses to transfer pumps. Tighten them firmly. Take the fast connectors out of air hoses. Install air fast connectors on transfer pumps using Teflon tape as shown. Mark the polo pump with the blue tape as shown so as not to confuse the pumps in the future. Mark the ISO pump with the red tape as shown so as not to confuse the pumps in the future. Connect both polio and ISO product hoses to corresponding machine's inlets. Tighten them firmly. Compressor recommended 3.5 HP power, 3 phases and 400 volts. From 300 to 350 liters per minute air output, 100 liters receiver. Extract the plug from the receiver and connect the air hose supply directly as shown. Connect the air hose assembly supplied via a fast lock connector to the air hose of the compressor. Fasten the free end of the air hose assembly to the air hose of the first section of heated hose as shown. Connect air hoses to both transfer pumps via fast lock connectors. Recommended air pressure from 6 to 8 bars. Take the fast lock connector out of the gun box and fasten it on the air hose of the 3 meter heated whip hose, as shown. Take the gun and the short piece of air hose out of the gun box. Connect the air hose to the gun as shown. Make sure transfer pumps are inside of the drums with products and are connected to the air. Open slowly the air valve on the transfer pump of the ISO side and make sure it starts slowly movement. Wait until it stops and close the air valve. Open the inlet valve on the ISO side of the machine. Open slowly the air valve on the transfer pump of the ISO side and make sure it starts slowly movement. Place the coupling block above any waste vessel and open partly the ISO manual valve on the coupling block. Keep the valve open to let the air and oil residues out of the ISO circuit. Wait until you see a stable flow of pure product. Close the ISO manual valve. Repeat the same procedure for the polyol circuit. The machine is ready for work. Open slowly the air valves of transfer pumps, both on ISO and polio side, and make sure they start slowly movement. Open the inlet valves on both sides of the machine. Press the button mode. Adjust the requested ISO and polio heaters temperatures the requested ISO host temperature. ISO host amperage recommended as 45 amps always. Press the heater's buttons. Both LEDs will light. Press the hoses button. The LED will light and the amperage will rise up to 45 amperes. Wait until all the temperatures reach their set point and press the button motor. Press the button normal. Rotate the hydraulic pump wheel clockwise until product pressures reach the required value. 
connect the gun to the coupling block and the air. Open manual valves. Connect the gun to the air. Set gun safety valve in working position. Press the trigger and make a trial spray. Make sure the working pressures get equalized. 